Hi, this is Ian, and welcome to Irish Angling Adventures. Um, today we're tying the Skype, which is a half and half clouser. Essentially just a clouser minnow with some saddle feathers tied in. So these feathers obviously enable you to vary the colour quite a lot. Um, and they give great movement in the water as well. Um, so this fly can be great to actually have in a fly box. Um, the one I'm tying is quite sparse, basically because I want it to sink quick. Um, so I have very large eyes on it as well. They said plan on fishing this for Pollock, so I wanted to get the depth as fast as I can, and I want to get a, a really severe kind of jigging action from this fly, um, which can be very, very effective for Pollock. So if you want to kind of bulk this fly up and make it a little bit larger, basically what I do is tie a second stack of white bucktail uh, midway down the body, another one of blue basically uh, midway up the body as well, as well as your blue then on the chin, and an extra stack of white coming off the head, basically just like a, a hollow receiver. That'll give you a, a much, much larger profile um, if that's what you're you're looking to achieve. Um, materials wise, very, very simple. So the hook I'm going to be using is a short shank, uh, Sakuma 420. It's one of my favorites for, for clouds or minnows. Um, the dumbbell eyes, as I said, are very, very large because I wanted to, to get the depth quite quick. So I'm using a 5.5 millimeter set. I have off the tail, and base my saddle feathers, which are going to be a white um, and a, a grizzly blue as well. Bucktail is going to make up the majority of the fly. So I have three colors. I have a, a white and then a light and a dark blue, which I'm going to mix in basically off the, the chin of the fly. For the back of the fly, um, I'm going to be running with just a little bit of peacock curl and just to give it a little bit of a contrast underneath. And for the flash, I'm going to be using a crystal flash in pearl. Um, and I'm going to be using angel hair in a, in a blue and a purple that is basically going to be tied in off the chin of the fly. Um, other than that, the thread is just any white thread you like. I'm going to be using a, a GSP. Um, I'm just going to be using a, a 140, just because it's a quite large, so it enables me to basically uh, cover the body nice and quick. Now, so we'll just remove this fly. Now, so we'll just start the thread off at the eye of the hook. Run back, and then around maybe six, seven mil from the eye which is where we'll uh, attach in our dumbbell eyes. So I'll try and show you this. So I'll just turn the hook on its side. I'm gonna hold the eyes, basically at a 45 degree angle across the hook. Get a couple of turns onto it, and then put one onto the hook just to lock it in place. And you'll see our eyes then sitting here at an angle. And then all I do to square them up is start wrapping the opposite way over the other side. And each one of these wraps should start to Pull the eyes square on the hook. Have a quick check, make sure you're happy with how everything is sitting. Once you are, put a few turns underneath the eyes. And that'll help to basically pinch the thread turns um, and lock them in underneath. And then we're just gonna put a drop of super glue underneath and on each corner of the eye. And we'll get a few very, very tight turns over each side, just to make sure they're going nowhere. And then your eyes should be locked in. Now, I'm just going to start running the tread down the shank. And we're gonna stop just before the bend. And this is where we're gonna attach in our two saddle feathers. So I've got kind of a matching pair here. Tips are lined up and I'm going to offer them to the hook and just see where I want to have these sitting. So I think I'll go about here. I'm just going to trim up these feathers, so cut the ends, tidy up any of the loose fibers. And then I'm going to turn the feathers so that the underneath of the feathers are facing each other. Double check, make sure these tips are aligned. There we go. We'll split them. Basically put one on each side of the shank of the hook here. Just get a couple of loose turns in. Make sure that they are sitting where they need to be. And then just going to run the tread. Double check and make sure everything's okay. These have a little bit of a twist in them, but once they get wet, they'll straighten up. And then to keep everything tidy, 
I'm basically going to run the tread just up to behind the eyes. And I'm going to attach two strands of flash um, at this point. Now, so I'm just going to double my two strands of flash over the tread, pull them up on top and lock them in right behind the eyes. I'm going to run back about halfway, split these so I have two fibers now on each side of the shank and I'm just going to run the tread back and that should lock these fibers basically, two on each side, like so. Get your fibers and just put them off. Make sure everything's a little bit uneven. You don't want straight lines and straight edges here in your fly. And now it's time then for the white bucktail. So I'm just going to quickly run the tread up to just in front of the ice. Get my white bucktail. Get some long fibers. And we don't need too much because the, uh, the feathers here are going to add bulk, so we don't need a huge amount of bucktail. Clean up all of the, the butt ends and broken fibers. Have a quick look and see if you need to taper it. Might just stack it a little bit and Yeah, so I have a, a few too many fibers here, so I'm just going to remove a few just to cut down on bulk. Have a look um, where you want to trim the ends, just so you're maybe one and a half times the length of the tail. I'm going to hold these at an angle across the front of the fly, catch in, and just pull these to where the, the fibers are sitting in behind the eye of the hook. Get a few loose turns in and then we can crank down and get these tied in. Jump the tread under the eyes, pulling the bucktail up, you can then start to get a few nice tight wraps basically running down along the body of the fly. Go all the way to the bend and just before we, we get to the end we're going to start to loosen off pressure a little bit to stop the uh, bucktail splaying too much. Run up and have a, a little look at how we're sitting. Once you're happy with everything, what I'm gonna do is spin my tread counterclockwise, which will flatten my tread. And it's gonna help to make a nice smooth body, basically running along my fly. So I'm just gonna run the tread wraps Touching turns all the way back and then make sure it's still flattened and then I'm going to start running the tread back up again and I'll just smooth off the body and get everything looking nice and clean and tidy. Um, I have one or two fibers here sticking out a little bit further than I'd like so I'm just going to get rid of those. And then I am going to get a little bit of the light blue bucktail. I will just take a very small clump of this. As always, remove any of the, the waste, you know, short fibers, any broken fibers. Have a little look and see does it need to be stacked. I'm just going to one small stack just to get rid of some of the, the very very long fibers. Then I'm going to offer this to the fly. I want this sitting in around the length of the, the white bucktail here hanging off the back. I'm going to cut that to length, just remove all the, the waist ends, have a look. I'm going to actually again remove some of this, I have a little bit too much. And then I'm going to catch this underneath the fly a couple of loose turns just to hold everything in place for a second. Pull the bucktail so everything is sitting just behind the eye and then I'm just going to tighten up a few of those turns and then with pressure 
pulling the bucktail down, I'm going to start to work the thread back to where I'm just touching up against the eyes. Split the fibres each side of the shank. And just make sure that you're happy with how everything is sitting. Again, if there's a few of these ends of bucktail sticking out a bit too far, just give them a quick trim. Just have a quick check and make sure everything is looking okay. Now for the flash. So as I said, I'm just going to use a little bit of angel hair here. I'm going to take a pinch of the blue and a small little bit of the, the purple, the light purple or the lavender. I'll quickly just blend these together. Hold it in the middle of the clump and then offer it up underneath the hook. Catch it in, just a few turns to hold it in place. Reverse all the fibers back and then run the thread quickly back just to lock these in. And these fibers should be left here then to, to bleed into the wing of the fly. Here then is where I'm going to basically attach in my saddle feathers. I'm just going to line up the tips, make sure everything's all square, offer them to the fly. And I want these to finish slightly short of the tail. In around here. I'm going to, again, just remove the waist ends, clean up the tips of the feathers. Uh, to make it a little bit easier, you can remove a little bit of the fiber from the base of these feathers. To make it a bit cleaner when you're tidying it in. So I'll grab one of the feathers. I'm going to basically tie it in with the, the top of the feather facing out and basically just here on the side of the fly. Hold in position, same again, get a couple of loose turns in. Quick check to make sure it's sitting right, and then we'll get the other feather and do the exact same on the other side. So, our foot to the side of the hook, we might turn this up on its end. Fibers not cooperating. Get a loose turn in just to lock it. Have a quick check, make sure everything's where it needs to be. It's looking pretty good. And then we'll just tighten down. Make sure everything's sitting where we, we want it. Now, and then I'm just gonna tie in one more very small clump of bucktail underneath this, just a little bit darker basically to, to help kind of tone the back of the fly. So I have my dark blue bucktail here. I will find some nice straight fibers, quite fine fibers as well, to take out. Over here. Just quickly remove a few of these. Take out all the, the short fibers again. And then I'm gonna blend this with a little bit of light blue. So I'll just get a, again, a really, really small amount of this light blue. blue. Remove it. Lay it on top of the dark blue bucktail. Basically just make sure the, the tips are aligned. Have a look, restack it if needs be. Just to, to get the tips to square up a little bit better. Mix it up quickly in your hands and have a look at where you want this to sit. So basically I'm going off pretty much the same length. So I'm gonna offer this to the, the white bucktail and I'm basically gonna shorten it just by a few mil just to help add a little bit of taper to the fly. Again, remove this waste and I'm gonna catch this then again with some loose turns 
just here underneath the fly. Split the fibers both sides of the shank. And now we'll just get a couple of strands of our peacock curl um, to tie in straight off the back. So I'm just going to get four strands. Again, we're gonna line up the tips. And kind of trim them a little bit. Again, you want them pretty square, but don't have them all exactly the same length. You want a slight taper in them, just to have it look a little bit more natural. I'm going to offer these fibers up. I want these going right to the end. And we'll attach these straight underneath the fly. Just a loose turn. And again, we'll start wrapping back. I'm going to keep pressure pulling down to make sure these stay in position. Work all the way back to up against the bottom of the eye. I'm going to cut these fibers here. Trim up any others that you may spot. And then what I'm going to do here is put a drop of super glue onto the eye of the fly. Again, I'm going to spin the thread anti-clockwise to flatten it um, and basically just start to, to tidy up the head. Work all the way down. And just start to build a nice gradual slope running up the head of the fly. Point then we'll just whip finish. Trim away the waste. Give it a little while for the, the super glue to, to dry and then I'm gonna just put a, a small light coat of varnish on the top, but you can finish it off. Obviously just a little bit more super glue if you prefer, or else some epoxy. But basically that's the fly done. Really doesn't look like much um, at the moment. Very, very scruffy. Um, but as soon as this gets wet, it'll slick right down. Um, you'll get a lovely kind of profile from it. And as I said, this offers quite a lot of movement in the water, as opposed to the, the regular trouser minnow, which is generally a little bit um, which has a little bit kind of less movement, but obviously still has this kind of great jigging action. Now, so as I said, the, this fly is going to be given away. Um, if you'd like to enter the giveaway, just make sure you're subscribed to us um, and leave a comment in the description letting us know what species of fish you'd like to target with this fly. Um, and um, a week after we upload this video, we'll basically randomly pick someone from the comment section um, and we'll get this fly sent out to you. Uh, so that's it. Thanks very much for watching. Um, if you liked the video, um, please give it a like um, and don't forget to subscribe if you already haven't.